Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss the control statements. What is the meaning of control statement? So guys, first of all, statement means instruction. Instructions given to the system. Control statement means that it is controlled that which instruction should be executed and which instruction should not be executed. So different situations may demand different execution flow of the program. There can be many different conditions which you want your program to follow. Some of the situations can be, you may want your program to execute same statement multiple number of times. Or maybe you want your program to get executed if any condition is satisfied. So there might be different conditions according to which you want your statements to get executed. And that is what Java control statement do. Let's understand what are the different Java control statements. So guys, Java control statements are divided into three categories. Selection statements, which are also known as decision making statements. Iteration statements, which are also known as looping statements. Jump statements, which are also known as branching statements. So we're going to understand these statements one by one. So first let's understand selection or decision making statements. So selection or decision making statements are if statement, if else statement, if else if statement, nested if statement and switch statement. Let's understand all of them by practical implementation of it. So we're going to open our Eclipse IDE. So first we're going to start with if statement. Meaning of if statement is if statement determines whether a course should be executed or not based on the specified condition. If your condition is true, then only block of code will be executed. Otherwise, it won't get executed. Let's understand this with the help of example. Let's say we declare two variables A and B. Now I will be assigning value to them. So let's say B is 10 and A is 20. Now I want to check whether A is greater than B or not. If it is greater than B, then it should display me A is greater. Otherwise, it should not display me anything. So let's say how to put it in condition with the help of if statement. So I'll write if and here guys you write down your condition which you want to get checked. So I want to check whether A is greater than B or not. If it is true, then we will start the curly braces. Guys, you write your block of code into curly braces. So into curly braces, your block of code or statements will be written. So here I'm saying if A is greater than B, then display me. So system.out.println A is greatest. So this is how if decision making statement works. If you will write your expression here, if the condition is true, then only the block of statements will be executed. If the condition is false, it will just come out of the block and continue with your rest of the program if there is anything written over there. So let's see how it works. We're going to execute it. So look at this. A is greatest. So condition is true. It went into this code and display you the statement. But let's say if condition is not true. So I'm just going to change value of A over here. So I'll say A is 5. I assign value to A as 5. And now let's execute it. Guys, you can clearly see that condition is false. A is not greater than B. In fact, A is less than B. So condition is false. And let's see now what will happen. So condition is false, so nothing is displayed. It came out of these curly braces and displayed you nothing. So in simple words, if statement says that I'm going to execute block of statements or code only if condition is true. If condition is not true, I'm going to come out of these curly braces. So this is what if statement is. Now we will understand second variation of if statement that is if else statement. So guys here. If condition is false, you can see nothing is displayed. But I want if condition is false, then also Java should take care of it and display me something. And for that, we have another block that is called else. That means if the condition is true, display me this. But if it is not true, then display me the else section. So else and here you can write down 
again curly braces and you can write your block of statements so system dot out dot println and we can write b is greatest so i will repeat it again if the condition is true then this block will be executed otherwise this block will be executed normal if is just for the true values but if you accompany it with else also then it will take care of both if the return value is true then this section will be executed if it is false then else section will be executed let's see how it works b is greatest because this condition is false it skipped this execution and came to else section and displayed you b is greatest so guys this is how if else statement works okay so there is another variation for it also so if can be guys you can play around with if in different ways it's normal if statement if else statements and there is third variation of if statement that is if else if and then else let's understand that let's say you want your system to check two conditions first if this is greatest display this and second condition is let's say i'm declaring another variable here so i'm saying c is 10 and i have to declare it here so let's declare it too so here i assign value 10 to c and i declared c variable and now i can use it guys remember if you want to use any variable first it must be declared how to declare it we already discussed in our previous videos i really recommend you to go and watch those first so that you can understand how the declaration and assignment works so here i want that okay you checked a is greater than b second thing i want to check is else if here also you can put the condition else if a is greater than c then also it should display me a is greater than c if both are not true then you can accompany else with it else system dot out dot println i want to display a is smallest so let's understand this here if a is greater than b display this otherwise if a is greater than c display this if both are not true then go to the else section and display this so guys you can add as many else if in between as you want like according to your conditions and then you can end it with else else will be executed if any of the conditions on the top in else if or if is not true so this is how your if else if statement works let's see the execution over here so we will execute it and a is smallest because none of the condition is true a is not greater than b even a is not greater than c so it went to the else section and executed these block of statements so that's why i'm getting a is smallest last variation of if statement is nested if statement guys nested if statement is in nested if statement there is a another if statement inside a if statement quite complicated in listening no okay let's understand this with the help of example so let's say i'm saying if a is greater than p and here again i'm inserting if and saying if a is greater than c then display me that a is greatest so i'm checking both the conditions in one block so here i'm saying if a is greater than b and if a is greater than c display me this else so i'm just removing this and that's it so here we will be closing two brackets so always make sure guys number of brackets open and number of brackets closing is same or not otherwise maximum number of times in java this is the error we have that opening brackets and closing brackets are not same so cross check that always now we have written check if a is greater than b also check that if a is greater than c then only we will say that a is greatest otherwise if both of the conditions are not true 
execute this block of statement that else a is smallest. Let's execute it and look at this. We got a is smallest because both if are not true. So this is if inside a if which is known as nested if statement. So guys these are some variations of if statement. In nutshell simple if statement will check the condition. If condition is true then only it will display block of statement enclosed inside it. If it is not true and you want to take care of that section also you can add else section in it. So if condition is not true then else section will be executed. Next was else if. If you have multiple conditions to give you can write if give condition else if give condition then again you can write else if give condition and lastly you can end it with else. So if condition is not true it will switch to else if. If else if condition is not true it will switch to next else if. If that is also not true then it will switch to else. So you can enclose as many else if in between as you want according to your requirements. Last is nested if statement. In nested if statement you use if statement inside another if statement. That means it's going to check both of the conditions. So in simple words both conditions should be true then only this block will be executed. If any of the condition is not true it will move to the else section. So here let's say I'm making it true. And I'm saying okay a is less than c. So this is false a is not greater than b. This is true a is less than c. Now if you can relate with it one condition is giving you true and one is giving you false. Guys if you want this block to get executed both of the conditions should give us true. If any of the condition is returning us false this block will not be executed and it will be moving to the l section. Let's understand this with the help of execution. So we'll execute it and look at this. We got A is smallest and you can see this condition is true. So that means in nested if all the conditions should be true then only this block of statement will be executed. If any of the condition is true it will not execute this block of statement. So all the condition in nested if statement should be true then only this block of statements will be executed. Otherwise it will switch to else section and this will be executed. So guys this is if statement and some variations of if statement. In our next video we are going to understand switch statement with the help of example. That's all for this video. Thanks for now.